the Osmo Pocket. So, can you use it with old cell phones? And if you do, how do you do it? Can you register the Osmo Pocket on an old cell phone? What can it do with people who has you know, neuropathy or other disabilities? Will it help them? These are things I want to know. So come on with me, and we'll find out together. Welcome back to another exciting episode. Today, we're going to do another unboxing. We're going to do this critter, the Osmo Pocket. Now, I've heard a lot of reviews about this. Um, a lot of professional videographers, why they would have this, I'm not sure. Heard a lot of influencers, people who got it for free. Uh, and of course, they're gonna have some, some bias to it. But I wanted to do a consumer level review and just to see how, how this is done. Now, how did I get this? Well, a few different ways. I am an Amazon affiliate. So people who buy stuff on Amazon through the link uh, that's down below in the descri description, this channel does get a little bit of a kickback. So that goes into uh, our Amazon account and we do have a little bit of a credit there. So that's how some of this stuff is being paid for. And of course, you know, Amazon gift cards, those kind of things. So this is a real review by a real small YouTuber and someone that uh, does have a, a slight disability. And I'll explain that in a moment. But there's a lot of things with uh, videography that small creators, those at the consumer level or those who have smaller channels like, like mine, we have a lot of uh, challenges when it comes to different effects. We don't have the money, we don't have the resources, we don't have the big equipment um, to get this done. So we have to come up with a storyline, we have to come up with uh, things that are interesting, and sometimes we come across something that may give us a little bit of an edge. Now, is this gonna make me a master videographer and a huge YouTuber? No, <laughs> okay, but it is gonna help me out. Now, for those of you who have been on the channel, you know that I am a uh, post calling and beret. I am a survivor of that disease. It, it has a neurological um, after effect and this is going to hopefully help. Now the gimbal part of the pocket, it's a three axis gimbal and supposedly it's going to help smooth things out because for people who have uh, disabilities similar to mine or neurological disabilities like mine, when you start holding a camera and for those of you who have seen uh, behind the scenes footage in the past, you see I have my camera, but it's on a stick. And that stick helps me hold on to that camera. And, but sometimes my wrist uh, doesn't get the signal to keep it straight and sometimes it drifts. So hopefully with this gimbal, uh, the camera on this gimbal and the gimbal itself, Hopefully that'll take care of that issue. I won't lose nearly as much footage. So again, that's the hope, that's the desire. Let's see what we got. So the first step is the unboxing. Now it does come in a nice case here. The Osmo Pocket itself is supposed to come with a few minor details. And there's a few things that I don't like about it that I will go over as well, at least from the reviews that I've seen elsewhere. Now I'm gonna do some additional reviews of this, some real life reviews, 
and give my interpretation of the pluses and minuses as a person with uh, a disability, but also as a small YouTuber and how this is going to help me um, hopefully bring up my video skills. Now on the inside you do have your Osmo Shield. Now this is supposed to um, give you I think a two-year warranty. Oh it doubles your warranty. I'm not sure what the real warranty is but we're gonna keep that. And this is additional information um, card. It has the website, um, online store, of course Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and of course their YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, and just so you know, I am in uh, my studio, which is part of the house. So there are some other things going on in the house. So you might hear some, some banging or clicking or something else in the background. You might hear the cats run around. That's okay. This is my life. <laughs> okay. So we're going to open up this box. Ooh. Now this is the Osmo Pocket itself, as you can see. Now I do have big hands, <laughs> but this is a very, very small device. Actually smaller than what I expected. Even though I saw a lot of reviews about this, um, that sort of surprised me how small it is. Now let's tell you um, right off the bat, I'm not exactly sure how you're supposed to hold this. I'm assuming on the side, kind of like cup it like this. That concerns me a little bit with my neuropathy. Um, I might have to figure out a way for a holder because if my hands kind of twitch, I'm afraid I'm gonna drop this thing, but um, it does attach to a phone and I'll tell you about that in a little bit. But um, it feels like a very, very hard plastic, but at least it has a slight bit of weight to it. Not a lot, but it feels sturdy. It's, it's strange. It's, it's almost like a, oh, and right in front here, that has like a little rubberization type coating on it. So I guess for you to, so you like won't slip, but you're not really holding it like, I guess maybe you're supposed to hold it like this. We'll figure that out later. All right. So what else is in the box? There is a carrying case. And in that case comes a whole bunch of neat stuff. Put that right there. Put this right here. Okay. And we have, oh, we have a strap. Now the strap does not go on the, the pocket itself because there's no place to actually put it. Where it goes, there we go, is on the bottom of the carrying case. Now the pocket actually goes into the case. How's it go? Oh, this way. Goes into the case. <laughs> Gotta read the instructions on the side. Goes into the case like so. This flips over. It has a little kind of snap on the end. And that looks good. All right, so that does seem to secure it pretty well. I like that. And it looks like, eh, I think I just figured something out. You might be able to use that as a holder. <laughs> it's almost like a, like a small tripod because it doesn't have a, I just noticed it doesn't have a little tripod screw on the bottom. So I don't know. Huh, interesting. Okay. So what else does it come with? Let's see. Let's open this bag up. It comes with, oh, a charging cord, a USB to USB-C, and that goes in the bottom here. And then this goes into your computer or your phone charger 
or to your car or whatever. Okay, so that's how this thing charges. Now it's supposed to have about a two hour battery life to it, um, but that's you know continual type of filming. That's not the way I film. I usually do a shot here, a shot there. So two hours should be a whole day for me. Um, although I do do a lot of footage and I do edit heavy, but we're, we're seeing. All right. Also in there, we have these real little um, adapters and the adapters are for hooking up your phone. Now, unfortunately, you only have the, um, I think they call it lightning um, attachment. That's for um, uh, iPhones, like the newer iPhones. And they also have this little attachment for USB-C, you know, the newer, um, like the uh, uh, Android phones. Android phones, Google phones, those kind of things. Now, oh, there's a little protective cover that I did take off and it exposes an adapter port. And that's where you put this in. You just attach that onto, ugh, goes in there pretty snug, which is good. And you hear a little snap and then your phone attaches in there. there. Now this is a older uh, phone an older uh, Android phone. So I'm gonna show you how we hook that up. It's a little bit different. You actually don't hook it up here, you hook it up on the bottom, but I'll go through that later. Now, anytime you do an attachment on the bottom, especially an external audio source, you have to take that adapter out and turn it around, or you have to put that little uh, blank in it. Now the reason being is because if this is the other way around, you can't plug anything in there, at least an external uh, audio source, a video source rather, an external video source because it's going to think, well, all the videos in this attachment. So you have to turn it around or put this blank back in so it knows, oh, I'm not sending out a video here, I'm supposed to sending out video on Bob. So, and again, we'll go over that a little bit later. Now this does take up to 256 gig, um, what do you call it, a, a micro SD card. So we're gonna put that in, I'm gonna show you how to, how to do that. Now the one that I got here is of course a Gigastone, and again, I am an Amazon affiliate. So the link is down below if you're interested in something like that. So we're gonna take this out. Ugh. There is a slot on the side where this goes into. Okay, not that way. Backwards maybe, yep. So looking at the pocket itself, we see the numbers, the numbers have to go backwards. So you slip that in. And it's kind of nice, it's on the side, you just kind of slip it in until it clicks and you're done. Nice. I like that part. Alrighty. Let's move this off to the side. Now there's supposed to be a little bit of battery life in here. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and try to turn this thing on and see what we got. Now when you turn this on, oh, let's go ahead and take off the protective cover for the screen. It just peels right off. There's a little tab on there that I can't get. There we go. Take that right off. And there's a little protector on the screen there. You take that off. And you're supposed to be able to just Push this on, one, two, three, four, five, and it's running. <laughs> Look at that, that is incredible. All right, so we're supposed to be able to, oh, when you first turn it on, it asks what language uh, you want to have. 
So uh, obviously English. So we can go ahead and push that, push that, tap on it. There you go. It's supposed to tap on it. <laughs> All right. Um, now device is not activated. Hmm. Okay. Now in order for you to activate the the gimbal device, the Osmo Pocket, you're supposed to attach it to a phone. Well, I don't have a USB-C phone. Now my wife does. I may have to activate it through, through my wife, but we're gonna try something here. I already downloaded the Mimo app, which is a DJI product. You have to have the DJI Mimo app, app um, if you wanna use your phone to attach to the gimbal for a bigger screen. You can use most of the basic features off of this phone here, but if you wanna have advanced features, you have to attach it to the phone. A little bit of a bummer, but that's the way it is. Okay, so what's a workaround? Well, a workaround is attaching this with a cable, an adapter cable to an older Android phone or Apple phone. Now, according to DJI on their website, you can only activate this gimbal device through a phone that has a USB-C port um, or a lightning port. Supposedly, you cannot use the Wi-Fi adapter and you cannot use a cord. We're gonna test that theory out. <laughs> so, are they right? Let's find out. Now, this um, cable, again, I'm gonna have a link down below uh, to Amazon. And that'll be a good place to start. You don't have to get the exact same thing that I had. If you find something that's cheaper, have at it. All right, so of course I did turn around the adapter on the bottom. I'm attaching the USB-C part of the cord. Okay, you install the MIMO app. Depending on the speed of your internet, it may take a while. When it's done loading, go ahead and hit open. You go through the agree in the phone part. I am going to attach the USB micro to the bottom of my older Android phone. Maybe, there we go. Plug it in and let's see. It'll detect the device. Use this by default, okay. And you will see the product agree screen. Hit agree. Now down here it says get device info. Make sure you click okay on that. Then the next screen will come up. And then camera information will be paired to your account and will serve as the basis for maintenance and DJI support. Okay, log in. Now on the bottom here, you will see register and log in. I do not have a DJI um, login, so I'm gonna go ahead and register now. So as you see, this cable, at least so far, does seem to be working. So you have to go ahead and put the uh, capture code in and do have the rest of the information. I'm gonna do that offline uh, so you don't know my private information. <laughs> After you put your email, which that's the, uh, the email for the Rustermania website, by the way, so after you put your email, the capture code, and your new password in, go ahead and hit I agree, hit register, it'll take it through. Okay, register successful. 
And now you have to put your password back in. I'm gonna do that off screen again so you don't see it. There we go. Now that you put the capture code in and your password, go ahead and hit login. Confirm your activation account. And make sure that's the email address that you want. Go ahead and hit activation. And your Osmo Pocket will now be activated. So as you can see, even though the website says that the only way to activate your phone is through connecting it via the USB-C or Lightning, as you see, that's not exactly true. There is a workaround. For those who have old phones like myself, you just have the micro USB. So activation success, done. And there we go. So now it is downloading the firmware update. It, depending on how long your download speeds are, it may take a while. So now, download successful. It's go ahead and it's going to install. That's gonna install again the upgraded firmware for the Osmo Pocket. Now, as of this video, the updated firmware is 1.02.00.20. You see all kinds of flashy lights on the Osmo Pocket. That is normal. This update is supposed to fix a whole lot of things that were not very good on the pre-production model. Now this again is the uh, production model, which was uh, brought through Amazon. Again, the link is down below if you are interested. One thing that it does take care of, that it does update, is the audio. The audio uh, was a problem on the pre-production model. However, the updated firmware does take care of that issue, at least for the most part. We'll have more on the audio in a future. Ooh. And there you go. Activation is now complete. You may now use the Osmo Pocket. Well, thank you for coming along with me and doing the unboxing of the Osmo Pocket and seeing how we register and update this machine. So again, I thank you very much and have a great day. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe, comment, and share. And come on next time and I'm gonna have a lot of interesting stuff going on with the Osmo Pocket, doing a lot of tests. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, Want to see what the Osmo Pocket can do? Subscribe, hit that bell, and you'll see my future episodes.